Hi guys, welcome back. This is a new speed test between the OnePlus 3T versus the Nokia 8. So I don't want to make this video, but I got so many comments and requests. And before making this video, I even searched on YouTube. I did found that you know a lot of people are searching between the these two devices. So why not just to show you in case you have OnePlus 3T, so you might be interested. So uh, there is another device which is a very great competitor for the 3T. Uh, this Nokia 8 is the OnePlus 5. I did have shown you guys speed test camera comparison so please watch those video and in case you own a oneplus 3 so i'm not going to make it but still in, if, if you guys wanted to have the speed test so please drop a comment because you know this is kind of old device uh, is going to be near more than one and a half year old so uh, this is technically makes sense but still in case you own any of the you know oneplus 3t oneplus 3 there is no need to upgrade to the any of the Nokia 8 and the oneplus 5 the reason is that the oneplus 5t is underway with a taller display improved camera and maybe some of the fancy tuning so when this uh, oneplus 5 is a great device but why not have you know oneplus 5t uh, which is again offering something uh, more with the same pricing and nokia 8 is okay it looks beautiful but i don't see there is a much difference between oneplus 5 and nokia 8 but even though i i prefer to have oneplus 5 it offers faster ram more amounts of ram you know slightly improved operating system with a great performance so let's do a speed test between 3t versus nokia so two things we are going to check it here guys number one thing is that this is snapdragon 821 versus 835 so uh, technically 835 is you know much faster compared to the uh, 821 but this one has uh, 6 gigabytes of ram and this is 4 gigabytes of ram so you know guys i'm using i have the android phone starting from 1 gigabytes 1 2 4 1 2 3 4 6 8 I run all the devices kind of variation so I personally feel that 6 gigabytes is kind of you know uh, benchmarking or you can say 6 gigabytes should be standard for a flagship devices they work flawlessly 4 gigabytes is okay I'm not saying it's less but sometimes you know I feel that apps and games are not keeping the memory they are just being pushed out if you have 6 and 8 definitely I mean most of the apps and games I'm very pro user so I can say that so let's do a speech test and see which one uh, works runs faster in terms of launching completion and and keeping games in the memory First, we are going to do a boot test. I'm going to tell you guys my OnePlus 3T has a bootloader unlocked. You're going to take five seconds extra. So, anyway, here it is. Powering on in three, two, one. I felt the vibration first on the OnePlus 3T. So, let's see. This one, this guy is taking near about the 24 seconds. That's what I can say. I checked a couple of times. And how about the OnePlus 3T? And both are running the Android Oreo. I just missed to you guys at the start. Both are on their beta, but kind of stable. I'm using this from almost this for a month and this one couple of days. Works great. Seven plus uh, Nokia 8 got the first, followed by one plus 3T. Okay, guys, let's start our test. So, this is Nokia 8 versus one plus 3T, and they are all running the default launcher. And I must tell you guys, uh, they are all running the beta one, so Android O. So, this kind of speed test between the Android O versions of the both of them. Kind of stable, I do not find any issues. So, this is where you can see they both are running their Android O version, kind of very nice and cool one. So, let's just start and see. I'm just going to start the clock in between that, so that will be more nice to have it. This is the only application is running right now, so there you go. That will test uh, tell us at the end how much it is difference in at all. So starting with the Facebook, slightly faster on OnePlus 3T. So you can see there is a delays on launching in here. So YouTube, small applications they won't uh, you know matter difference a lot. They just work fine. Twitter faster on the Nokia 8, followed by OnePlus 3T. Then we have Instagram more or less same time so this is where it is more important to check out you know games test temple in 2 looks faster on 3t but here we came so one plus 3 uh, this 835 is about 35 percentage according to the company is faster in launching this application so we can see the difference here so difference is about uh, near about the two seconds we can say a three second max not more than that next is subway surfer Splash screen got first here. Wow, loading is very quick on the 35. You can see, so there's no doubt it's a faster processor. So one second difference, max at all. Pokemon Go. I'll tell you guys story here. So you can see LCD versus uh, LCD versus AMOLED. So how you know colors are coming more bright here. So that's point I really don't like on this Nokia. Why they opt for LCD? So pretty faster. This is due to the having more amount of RAM. That's why I said that you know having more amount of RAM is always beneficial. So 
two to three seconds difference at all. That trigger two. So I believe this one is going to compass. <laughs> I tell you guys because it fives is very quick. So next we have the X fall eight. Uh, seems to me faster on 3T, but uh, I, I don't mind one second difference at all. First on the Nokia 8, 835. So let's learn some, you can see the delays. Uh, this is uh, Chrome shortcuts. So always try to use such thing if you don't want to bother about the app updates. These things just work fine for you. And next we have the YouTube. More or less same, but I see edge on the 3T. Settings, faster on the plus 3T. Camera, I know uh, this is uh, sort of slow in focusing. I tell you guys, so 3T is faster here again. Okay. So these are the things we have seen. Benchmarking, you'll see later. So let's resume all the application starting with the Facebook. So this thing is keeping the memory. This one refresh. So notice here how many apps and games are in the memory. You see in the memory, this guy is just refreshing. So they ran out of the memory. Twitter again in the memory. So two gigabytes is uh, you know extra is kind of good thing to have on the phone. So try to pick any smartphone with the six gigabytes of RAM on it. You can see slight delays in launching. So guys, this is more important here to check. I I bet uh, this is going to keep four games at least in the memory. At least I'm telling you uh, this one. I believe three or four. I'm not sure about the four. Temple and two in the memory. Both of them great. Subway Surfer. There. I tell you guys, this one is going to refresh. So maybe uh, other two heavy games are in the memory. Kind of interesting to see. And uh, I'm betting this one Pokemon Go should be here in the memory because I've seen uh, you know a lot of times phone with the six words RAM keeping Pokemon Go in the memory six and eight, three, two, one. Wow. So that's why Subway Surfer got refresh. So Pokemon Go is still in the memory. So let's see what that trigger too. I believe this one is going to refresh now. I told you guys this one is going to refresh because Pokemon Go was in their memories that's why this Death Trigger 2 being crapped out and as for it should be in the memory I'm very positive let's see oh man both of them so we saw that guys uh, you know Subway Surfer and this uh, Death Trigger 2 got refreshed yet but this one kept all things in the memory that's what having benefit of uh, 6 words of RAM doing refreshment here kind of YouTube both of them different. These are web applications, so no issues at all. They can refresh it at all. And settings, more or less same place. Camera, faster here. This one is just reloading. So let's see how much time difference do we got. So 490 seconds on both one because we waited for them. That's why this time is taking that much. Anyway, guys. So guys, uh, previously we have seen the speed test. Now the same application I'm going to launch in a fast forward bit, then we can actually calculate how much time difference do we have in real life. So notice the time difference earlier for Nokia, especially 4 minutes, 19 seconds. This time, uh, even though 835 is faster, you know, it started launching application and games in a faster way. As you can see, I had to make the fast forward way. So you can say the Nokia 8 is on the Niantic, this Pokemon Go and while just loading. So uh, at the end point of time, you can see that after launching the game, then we have few smaller application settings and on the camera and Nokia 8 and OnePlus 3T both are going to tie it up so you can see on the settings and all. Now we are going to receive all the stuff. Now as we have seen earlier, OnePlus 3T is keeping all the apps and games in memory more or less except one or two. And Nokia 8 on the other hand this time just kept X fold in other ones are reloading. So these kinds of surprises happen anyway. So this time uh, OnePlus 3T just took 2 minutes 30 seconds that is very very impressive. And the same we have on the Nokia 8 is still loading. Let's see how much time difference do we have. X fold 8 is only the memory other apps and games are just kind of refreshed so I just shown you guys what I've got even though I can get better so this time uh, Nokia 8 is going to take 3 minute 15 seconds that's a massive difference of 1 minute near about 15 to 16 difference overall so this is guys real life test now let's move ahead to the benchmark comparison just for reference here is one so right side you're going to see the geek benchmark left side is the NT2 so these are the old score so don't bother about those things but anyway both phones just produce a result near about at the same time 6.6k on the Nokia 8 geek benchmark and N2 is also quite great so that's pretty impressive score for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T and the Nokia 8 that's usually you should get that so guys there you have it this is your uh, speed test and real life comparison kind of stuff between OnePlus 3T and the Nokia 8 so as I mentioned earlier this is on the Nokia uh, this is Android audio so it's kind of okay I can get the same result on the Android new but also but the point is that there's no need to upgrade as I mentioned earlier so stay tuned to the channel I'm gonna get OnePlus 5T and in case you want with the OnePlus 3 please comment down here so once again hope you guys did enjoy it thank you for watching this is Saurabh I'll talk to you very soon have a great day